Welcome to Siddhartha Institute of Science and Technology, Puttur. Good morning to all of you. Today I would like to tell about performance characteristics of an instrument under electronic measurements and instrumentation. So the first is performance characteristics of an instrument. So before we are going to the performance characteristics of an instrument, so what is that performance characteristics of instrument? Suppose if you can take one instrument, how we can decide that particular instrument performance? So that performance is decided by some characteristics. So according to that, characteristics are divided into two types. So one is static characteristics and second one is dynamic characteristics. So like that, we can decide the instrument performance wise. So in that so before we are going to the static characteristics and dynamic characteristics. So what is static characteristic and what is dynamic characteristic? So first static characteristics. So what is the difference between static and dynamic? So static means it is a constant one and dynamic means changes. So that is a normal difference between static and dynamic. So coming to the static characteristics definition. The set of criteria defined for the instruments which are used to measure the quantities which are slowly varying with the time are mostly constant. So that is called as static characteristics. And coming to the dynamic characteristics. The set of criteria defined for the instruments which are varying with differential equations is called dynamic characteristics. So the set of criteria defined for the instruments which are varying with differential equations is called dynamic characteristics. So coming to the static characteristics. So according to the static characteristics are divided into so many types. So one is accuracy, second one is precision, third one is resolution, sensitivity, static and dynamic calibration, errors in measurement and their statistical analysis. So coming to the accuracy. So what is mean by accuracy? So accuracy means exact value. So it is defined as the degree of closeness with which the instrument reading approaches the true value of the quantity to be measured. So that is called as accuracy. So that accuracy is denoted by capital A. So coming to the precision. So precision means it is the measure of consistency or repeatability. So measure of consistency or repeatability. So precision can be divided into two types. One is conformity and second one is significant figures. So what is that conformity? So for example, if you can take the resistor value is 2, 3, 5, 8, 6, 7 ohms. So it's not easy to pronounce that value by human being. So that value we have to convert it into human readable form. So how it can converting into human readable form? So that should be converted in either kilo ohms or mega ohms or milli ohms or micro ohms. So that is the conformity and coming to the significant figures. So the significant figures means it convey the actual information about the magnitude of a given measurements. So it convey the actual information of a given measurements. So next that uh, precision can be calculated from the significant figures. So that P is equal to 1 minus modulus of xn minus xn bar whole divided by xn bar. So where xn is the nth value of measurements and xn bar is the average value of measurements and p is the precision. So that is about the significant figures from the precision and coming to the resolution. So resolution means if a non-zero input quantity is slowly increased, but the output does not changes. 
until some minimum change in the input takes place. This minimum change is called as resolution. So, non-zero input quantity means from negative onwards. So, when you are increasing the value from the negative onwards on the input, but the output does not change until the minimum change. So, that minimum change is called as resolution. So, coming to the sensitivity. So, sensitivity means it is defined as infinitesimal change in output to infinitesimal change in input. So, simply we can call as change in output to change in input. So, that is delta Q naught by delta Q i. So, the units of sensitivity are millimeter per microampere, millimeter per ohm or count per volt etc. So, these are the different units for the sensitivity. And coming to the static and dynamic calibration. So, simply calibration means process of making an adjustment. So, static calibration means it is a process of making an adjustment with constant value. That means varying with time or constant value. So, dynamic means differential equation, varying with time. So, that is the dynamic calibration. And coming to the errors in measurement. So, errors in measurement comes under so many types. So, before that, what is mean by error? So, error means it is defined as the algebraic difference between the true value and measured value is called error. So, those errors are can be divided into so many types. So, one is statistical error, environmental error and random error. So, in that the error is also known as absolute error. So, that error E is equal to AT minus AM. And the relative error is also one of the error. So, the relative error is defined as the ratio between absolute error and true value of the quantity to be measured. So, that relative error ER is equal to AT minus AM by AT. Suppose if that error is represented in percentage, then percentage relative error is equal to AT minus AM by AT into 100. Suppose if the same relative error is represented in terms of full scale deflection, then ER is equal to AT minus AM by full scale deflection. And statistical analysis. So, what are the statistical analysis? So, before that, what is mean by statistical analysis? So, the statistical analysis means the mathematical analysis of various measurements of the data is called statistical analysis. So, the mathematical analysis of various measurements is called statistical analysis of the data. So, according to that statistical analysis are divided into four types. One is average deviation, standard deviation, variance and arithmetic mean or median. So, these are the four various statistical analysis. So, now coming to the dynamic characteristics. So, what is the definition of dynamic characteristics? The set of criteria defined for the instruments which are varying with such dynamic differential equations is called dynamic characteristics. So, the dynamic characteristics are divided into four types. One is speed of response, second one is fidelity, third one is lag and dynamic error. So, what is the speed of response? For example, if we are giving one input to one system, so how much of fast we are getting the output according to the given input that is called as speed of response. So, that indicates the activeness of the system. So, how it will be active, uh, actively working. So, that is the speed of response and fidelity. So, fidelity is also same as the accuracy. That means it is defined as the degree of closeness with which the given value may be exact value. And coming to the lag. So, lag means 
the delay in the response of a system is called lag so what is meant by lag the delay in the response of a system is called lag so that lag can be divided into two types one is retardation lag second one is time delay lag so what is the retardation lag if you are giving one input to one system then immediately we are getting the output according to the given input is called retardation lag the second one time delay lag so time delay means if you are giving one input to one system then we are getting that output after some time that is called dead time that is called dead time so this type of lag is called as time delay lag and the last one dynamic error so the dynamic error is also same as the error what is that error defined as the algebraic difference between the true value and measured value but here one thing we are taking as g assuming zero static cap so that is called as dynamic error so these are the various static characteristics and dynamic characteristics so by depending upon these two characteristics we can decide the instrument performance so that's why it is called as performance characteristics of an instrument and we can go so like in that static error or gross errors human error systematic error instrumental error environmental error observational and random errors